Hey everybody, it's Allie, and today I did a little side-by-side -side comparison of cream products versus powder products, and this was a little bit tricky for me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm more used to the typical powder products. I tried to get similar colors so it didn't look too crazy, but this was fun. So if you wanna see a little side-by-side -side of cream products versus powder, just keep watching. Okay, so right now, I only have moisturizer on my face. For foundation, I'm going to use the same foundation like all over and then we'll play around with different products over top. So I'm gonna prep my face. I have the Rodeo Soft Focus Glow Drops. I really like this. I spoke about this in my favorites video. Oh my gosh, this thing gets so messy. That's like the one thing I don't like about it, but all right, I'm just gonna pat that in all over. Don't mind my blemishes. I'm a real person with real skin that has real skin concerns so we keep it real here oh i don't even have mascara on let me put mascara on i wanted to have my eyes done before i got to the face i guess i just forgot about mascara i'm gonna be using the yensa bc foundation i love this foundation i'm just gonna apply that all over so i'm going to be doing one half of my face with uh, i guess like the typical powder makeup that I normally do. What I mean by like typical powder makeup, I mean like the bronzer and the blush and that type of stuff. I wanna compare the powder blushes, powder bronzers, powder highlighters to more cream or liquid. I don't know, I feel like I've always just kind of gravitated towards the standard kind of powder one, which is fine, like it works for me. But I'm also more into the glowy dewy type of look i know i try to focus on that when it comes to like foundation and primer my hair is, i need to wash my hair but i'm like you know what let me see what it looks like so i have this sponge by hank and henry i do have a video on this i really like the sponge and i have this set of brushes by eco tools that i got literally years ago that i just never use and i mean these seem nice they're like very densely packed similar to this that I just applied my foundation with but this says that it works best with cream or stick formulas so I figured let's try these out I might play around with like the sponge and these just because it's kind of like a first impressions for that so I don't want that to kind of interfere with the performance in my opinion on cream products so but it says that it's made for like cream products so we'll see all right so we have that let me do my concealer real quick. All right, for concealer, I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, the Illumination Formula. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that underneath my eyes. Sometimes I'll go in with a brush, but I really like just kind of pressing that out with my fingertip. Let's do powder on this side, powder, and cream on this side, okay? I think, let's do it. Okay, so cream, okay. So I have this by Laura Geller. This is a multitasking eye lip cheek palette. It's a cream to powder trio. So this I'm gonna see how it looks like for a bronzer slash contouring. And then I have this. This is supposed to go for like airbrushing. I also have another different one. This is, it's a shimmer bronzer. So it's by Temptu. This is a whole like airbrush kit part of it. I don't have the kit itself. But I have seen people actually use this as like a liquid bronzer. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit of that behind on the back of my hand just to see what I wanna use. So this is a Temptu one. This is the Laura Geller one. I like the tone of the Temptu one better. I'm gonna use this little itty bitty Eco Tools brush for the Temptu. I'm gonna put on a little palette just because I feel like it's gonna get a little messy. This is gonna be the cream side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that here. Okay. And I'm just gonna like blend that out. I kind of wanna like go in with the sponge. I'm gonna lift that a little bit to kind of lift my cheekbones. I was thinking about picking up like contouring sticks, but I have so much here that I'm like, let me just use what I have before I pick anything up because I'm like, what if I don't even like this technique? And then I'm have, I have like all this cream products that I won't use. So it's not bad. I wanna go in with the sponge though. I don't know if it's the actual brush, but I feel like I'm using a lot of product and I feel like I'm not supposed to be using a ton of product. I don't know. Let me go down 
my nose and contour that a bit. Okay. I thought it was going to be much darker, but I think it's okay just like this. Also, I feel like I'm doing a terrible job blending and I feel like it's going to look really streaky. All right. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like I need a bigger brush. Anyways, on camera, I feel like that's so streaky, but looking in the mirror, it doesn't look too bad. Maybe it's just my bone structure. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and then to contour with powder, I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and it cracked. I'm so bummed. This is my favorite, but it cracked. That stinks. All right, let me open this up. Ugh, what a shame. Look at that. I don't think you see. I'm not gonna try to show you because it's gonna go everywhere. Let's do this side. I mean, obviously I'm more used to the powder, so it's a little bit easier for me anyway. And I don't think that small brush was a good idea to contour. I think I'm gonna go in with the larger brush for the cream side because I don't think I wanna use like the other bronzer, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna use a slightly larger brush and go back to the cream side. I'm probably way overdoing this, but oh my gosh, that's so dark. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Oh my gosh, mm -mm, mm -mm. I shouldn't have done that. We're okay, we're okay, easy. Just get a damp sponge and kind of go over what you did. It's like an eraser, we're good. We're good. Okay, so that's the powder side. That's cream side or liquid side, I should say. Okay, for blush, I have a few different options. I have by YC Collection. This is like a liquid blush in the color papaya. And then I have the same thing from the Laura Geller one. This is, what was it called? Tuscan Coral. And then I also have my Milk Makeup. This is in the color Work. This is for lip and cheek. This is a Laura Geller one, this is a YC, and this is Milk. That YC one looks like a liquid lipstick. I'm scared if I do that, I'm just gonna really mess it up. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Milk makeup one and I'm going to actually put it on the brush and put it on my cheek. These brushes, these brushes are made, it says that it's made for cream and stick products, which is what we're using, but I don't know if I like them. That looks pretty though. A little bit more. That is really pretty. I like that. I like that color and I like that formula a lot. I don't know if you can tell. All right, I lowered the brightness just a smidge to see if that helped, but I like that. Okay, I think the closest blush I have is by Milani. It's Romantic Rose. So I'm gonna put that on the powder side. Just like a rosy color. And last, let's go in with highlighter. For a highlighter, I have by Tarte. It's the Tartus Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. I have used, like, I have used stick highlighters and stuff like that in the past. And I think I've used liquids before, but let's see. I put just a teeny bit on here. That is reflective. Pretty. Okay, and I think I'm going to be using my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. All right, let's go in with the liquid highlighter. I'm just gonna tap that on. I'm just gonna put like a little bit and we're gonna just tap that here. That's pretty. I feel like this is my <laughs> favorite part of the whole cream side. I feel like I need a little more, just a bit more. I might regret that, but that's okay. It's a little glittery, actually. I like that. Cute. For the Artist Couture. All right, I love this. You know this is my favorite highlighter. Look at that. It's like so effortless. I love that so much. It's so funny because I feel like this highlighter, obviously like it pops a little bit more, probably because it's sitting on top of other powders where this kind of like blends in, like everything overall looks a little bit more dewy and I want the highlighter to pop, but I feel like if I add more, I'm gonna regret that. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the other side of this. I'm gonna take the liquid highlighter and I'm gonna put that in with a brush. I think I actually liked it better with my finger. All right, and last what I wanted to do, I don't know, just for fun, is to compare 
brows. I'm going to do like a brow pomade on this side and a powder on that side, just because. <laughs> so this is the Benefit Cabrow, which I love. This is one of my favorite brow products. I actually haven't used this in a long time. Cream gel brow color. So perfect. We're going to use that for this side. And then for the other side, we're just going to fill it in with powder. If you don't know, I'm not super like big on brows. See, just like a quick little fill. And the other side I'm going to be using by the Brow Gal. I'm going to go ahead and take an angled brush and go in with a little powder. Just a little fill. That's it. And then I'm just going to put something on my lips. Hold on. Okay. So we're done. <laughs> we did it. So here you have, let me come a little closer. So here you have the cream side. And this is the powder side. I don't know. What do you guys think? Cream side? Powder side? This was a little bit tricky for me just because I'm so used to powder and I'm used to how it looks, how it feels, how to work with the brushes. Granted, I did use a whole new set of brushes for the cream side and these brushes were a little tricky to work with. I'm not going to lie. I think it would have been easier for me if I just went in just with the sponge or if I went in with like brushes that I'm used to working with. So I'm going to play around with these. They're a little, a little tricky to work with. I don't know. Like it doesn't feel super comfortable. It feels a little awkward on your hand. I don't know. So these brushes are like, mm, I don't know about these, but... So yeah, the cream side, I feel it's overall more glowy, more dewy, and the powder side obviously is a little bit more matte, which I'm more into the dewy side overall. However, I feel like this side is going to last a lot longer, last better, but I feel like this is more, again, like glowy and dewy and youthful type of thing. But overall, I feel like I was able to achieve a similar look on each side with these products. I personally feel like this side looks a little bit more clean, like less sloppy, where this side looks a little bit more almost like patchy. But I feel like that's also because it was just like a little bit new to me. I think if I were to like perfect the technique, it would be fine. I think I'm used to the powder side and I like it. I like the look of it. It's like familiar to me. This is a little new to me. It feels a little bit less put together, but more, I guess, like fresh or dewy, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. What do you use on yourself? Do you normally do like the typical powder? Do you play around with cream? Do you prefer one over the other? I don't know, this is new. I think I definitely wanna play around more with cream products though, and kind of like perfect it a little bit. Not that I have the other technique perfected at all, but <laughs> but I just want to get a little bit more used to it, a little bit more comfortable with it and see how I like that, how it wears with my skin and see, I don't know, see how I feel better, but that's it. But yeah, that does it. That's the cream versus powder. I hope that this was helpful for you seeing like an actual visual. Maybe it wasn't helpful at all. Maybe I left you more confused. I'm a little bit confused. I don't know. All I know is that I want to play around with the cream products a little bit more. But this was fun to do. This was fun to try out. Let me know if you liked this. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to let me know that you liked it. If you aren't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications so you can get notified anytime I upload. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.